Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Leslie's president, Janet Steinmeier. Provost Jonathan Jefferson and I are delighted to be able to recognize the accomplishments of doctoral students from our Graduate School of Education and our Graduate School of Arts and Social Sciences who earned their PhD degrees in 2020 and 2021. Normally, we would hold a formal hooding ceremony on the day before commencement. However, given the restrictions on the size of public gatherings during the COVID-19 pandemic, we couldn't gather all of our doctoral graduates and their guests along with faculty and staff for such a ceremony. So instead, we have invited those who are willing and able to participate to come to campus one at a time to receive their hood and our congratulations individually. The provost and I are fully vaccinated and we're filming without an audience and are requiring each graduate and their very small number of guests to remain masked and physically distanced from others. We're observing COVID safety precautions with the smallest number of people present to help with the filming and to manage the distancing requirements. Provost Jefferson. Normally we would be flanked by the deans of our two graduate schools, Sandra Walker of our Graduate School of Arts and Social Sciences and Amy Rutstein Riley of our Graduate School of Education. They regret that they could not join us today, but send their hearty congratulations to the students receiving their doctoral degrees. We are very grateful to both Sandra and Amy for their leadership and commitment to scholarship and the success of their students. Completing one's doctoral degree is a combination of several years of advanced study and research and is awarded following the successful submission and defense of the student's dissertation. We will announce each student's name and degree along with their dissertation title and faculty advisor's names. The student will approach one by one to receive their hood and after accepting our congratulations, they will leave to make room for the next student. I present Jennifer M. Flewelling, candidate, Doctor of Philosophy in Education Study. Jennifer's dissertation title is The Application of Adult Learning and Development Theory in the Undergraduate Classroom. I would like to acknowledge Dr. John Sislik, who served as chair, and Dr. Stephen Gould and Jackie Ippolito, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Teresa A. Melito Connors, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Teresa's dissertation title is The Perceptions of Private Special Education School Leaders Regarding Their Role in Promoting Self-Care and Renewal Practices for Themselves and Their Teachers. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Stephen Gould, who served as chair, and Drs. Ulash Kaplan and Mitch Ablett, who served on the, the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. <laughs> I present Jacqueline Ann Bovin, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Jacqueline's dissertation title is The Principal's Role in Expanding Multicultural Understandings in Predominantly White Rural Middle School Grades. I would like to acknowledge Dr. John Sislik, who served as chair, and Drs. Nancy Roberts and Susan Etheridge, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Deborah A. Daly, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Deborah's dissertation title is The Perceptions of Elementary School Principles Regarding Constructivist Approaches. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Stephen Gould, who has served as chair, and Drs. Lorraine Greenfield 
and Carolyn McCrunan, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Sonia Elaine Donnell, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Sonia's dissertation title is Exploring the Intersection Between Discipline Disproportionality of African American Males and Middle School Principles Cultural Proficiency. I would like to acknowledge Dr. John Sislik, who served as chair, and Drs. Jonathan Gillette and Frank Robinson, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Christy Kuhn Donnelly, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Christy's dissertation title is Using College Student Learning Experiences and Outcomes to Guide Teaching Modifications in a General Education Choreography Course, an Action Research Study. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Vivian McCoss Spicer, who served as chair, and Drs. Marion Nesbitt and Olivia Cheever, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Alice Alfalish Earl, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Alice's dissertation title is Leadership Insights, Life Stories of Three Individuals' Path to National Leadership and Pre-K through 12 Education for Sustainability. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Miriam Nesbitt, who served as chair, and Drs. Susan Rochwork and Courtney Cole, who served on the dissertation community. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Thelma Goldberg, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. <laughs> Thelma's dissertation title is Trends and Traditions, a Mixed Method Study of Tap Dance Education in the private sector dance studio. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Carolyn Heller, who served as chair, and Drs. Vivian McCaw Spicer and Suzanne Bofard, who served on the dissertation committees. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Kimberly M. Joyce Bernard, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Kimberly's dissertation title is An Examination of Francophile African-Born Adult Immigrant Family Members' Narratives Regarding Their Children's Early Language and Literacy Development. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Paul Nasso, who served as chair, and Drs. Erica Dawes and Mary Sterling, who served on the, on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. That dissertation was a mouthful. <laughs> I present Marcello Andres Wica Vera, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Marcello's dissertation title is The Experiences of Undocumented Students in College dreams and aspirations in their own words. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Maria Sherpa, who served as chair, and Drs. Uh, Branca Ribiera and Hannah Hernandez, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your do doctoral degree. I present Elizabeth Dempsey Lee, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Elizabeth's dissertation title is Win the Game, 
or build decent humans. Parental perceptions of the family school relationship across socioeconomic backgrounds. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Lisa Fiore, who served as chair, and Drs. Yasing Lu Constant and Lisa Jennings, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Jacqueline Masloff, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Jacqueline's dissertation title is An Examination of Inherent Attributes, Characteristics, and External Factors Contributing to the Academic Success of First-Generation College Students. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Ulish Kaplan, who served as chair, and Drs. Frank Trucco and Glenn Austin Newman, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Felicia Moschella, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Felicia's dissertation title is Perceptions of Certified Central Office Administrators Who Choose Not to Apply for the Position of Superintendent. I would like to acknowledge Dr. John Sislik, who served as chair, and Drs. Eleanor Rothman and Lisa Bowles, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Alicia Vargas Redden, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Felicia's dissertation title is To Perception of Post-9-11 Veteran Students Who Are Parents Regarding the Role of Institutional Services and Bachelor Degree Completion. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Mary Ann Capiello, who served as chair, and Drs. Jennifer Serowick and Ann Benault, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I present Lori A. Regal, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy and Education Studies. Laurie's dissertation title is Parental Choice in Jewish Education. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Stephen Gould, who served as chair, and Drs. Lisa Fiore and Ariel uh, Le Levites, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. <laughs> I present Christina M. Agvent, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Education Studies. Christina's dissertation title is Teacher Resilience in Post-Secondary Education, an Exploratory Phenomenal Study. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Joanne Gamel, who served as chair, and Drs. Charlene Cochran and Kazio Kubo, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Aaron M. Schrader, candidate for Doctoral of Philosophy in Educational Studies. Aaron's dissertation title is, in their own words, a narrative inquiry into part-time master's degree student persistence. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Anne Benoit, who served as chair, and Drs. Valerie Shinnis, Laura Lee Douglas, and Stephen Gould, who served on their dissertation committee. Congratulations, Aaron, on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Michal Seti Parnes, candidate for Doctoral of Philosophy in Educational Studies. Michal's dissertation title is Two Crowds, Adolescents from Military and Non-Military Families. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Paul Nasso, who serves as chair, and Dr. Stephen Gould and Rabbi Michael Shire, who served on their dissertation committee. Congratulations, Mahal, on earning your doctoral degree. You. 
I now present Jonathan D. Swan, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Studies. Jonathan's dissertation title is School Leaders Supporting Students of Color in Predominantly White Schools. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Paul Nasso, who served as chair, and Dr. Stephen Gould and Jason Irizarry, who served on their dissertation committee. Congratulations, Jonathan, on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Catherine J. Contini, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy and Educational Studies. Catherine's dissertation title is Book Groups and the Relational Engagement of Sixth Grade Readers. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Valerie Shinnis, who served as chair, and Drs. William Stokes and Curtis Bates, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. Thank you. <laughs> I now present Paniota Athenelis, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy and Educational Studies. Paniota's dissertation title is Student Agency and Collective Bootstrapping in Integrated Academic, Technical Career, and Technical Education, a Photo Voice Project. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Marianne Capiello, who served as chair, and Drs. Grace Enriquez and Robert Riordan, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Dorothy Porton Bernard, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Studies. Dorothy's dissertation title is Exploring the Application of Knowles Adult Learning Principles in Disaster Simulations. I'd love to acknowledge the Dr. Linda Persley, who served as chair, and Drs. Ann Benoit and Linda Mark, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Serena Juanita Cardozo, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Serena's dissertation title is The Pursuit of Housing, Chronically Homeless Men and Their Experiences Seeking. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Sue L. Matalski, who served as chair, and Dr. Susan Gare and Christine Laguna, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations, Serena, on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Kimberly A. Cherry, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Kimberly's dissertation title is Centering the Voices of Transgender Supervisees Through Critical Inquiry. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Sue L. Matalski, who served as chair, and Drs. Pei Wei Li and Sebastian Barr, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations, Kimberly, on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Meredith Avery Schmidt Edelstein, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Meredith's dissertation title is How Children Understand Disability, a Qualitative Exploration. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Donna San Antonio, who served as chair, and Drs. Aaron E. Seaton and Linda Lengel, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Lisa Furman, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Lisa's dissertation title is 
an exploratory study of an arts-based measure and research model that examines the relationship between attachment style, trauma, and the use of adhesive materials in art therapy. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Susan Gare, who served as chair, and Drs. Adam Meiselman and Hilda Speecher, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree, Lisa. I now present Deborah Rose Jelinek Gombert, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Expressive Therapies. Deborah's dissertation title is Multicultural Orientations in Music Therapy Education. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Michelle Fornish, who served as chair, and Drs. Jason D. Butler and Melita Belgrave, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations, Deborah, on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Devin Gavoni, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Expressive Therapies. Devin's dissertation title is An Art-Based Exploration of Interdisciplinary Reactivity Toward Problematic Clients. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Sean McNiff, who served as chair, and Drs. Rebecca Zarate and Barbara Fish, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations, Devin, on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Brandon Christopher Jones, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Brandon's dissertation title is Counseling While Black, a critical inquiry exploring the experience of black master's level counselors in non-academic, predominantly white mental health settings. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Pei Wei Lee, who served as chair, and Drs. Rakshanda Salim and Anthony C. Hill, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. <laughs> I now present Mara McCullough, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Mara's dissertation title is Navigating the Emotional Contours of Parenting a Transgender Adolescent or Child. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Sue Matulski, who served as chair, and Drs. Donna San Antonio and Sandra Bertman, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations, Mara, on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Carla R. Wozinski, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Carla's dissertation title is Disrupting Cis, Heteronormativity, and Interrogating Whiteness, the Advancement of Counseling through Critical Sex Education. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Pei Wei Li, who served as chair, and Drs. Rakshanda Salim and Shana K. Katari, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations, Carla, on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Audrey Ryan, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Audrey's dissertation title is Exploring the Experience of Psychological Distress for Young Adults with Cancer, Implications for a New Diagnosis of Medical Traumatic Stress. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Susan Gare, who served as chair, and Drs. Jill Ritchie and Giselle K. Perez, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree.
I now present Sarah A. Schwordell, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Sarah's dissertation title is Women's Lived Experiences with Benevolent Sexism. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Sue L. Matalski, who served as chair, and Drs. Diana DeRyder and Joanne Gamel, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Leanne Till, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Expressive Therapies. Leanne's dissertation title is Artistic Expressions of Vegan Women with Disturbed Eating Behavior and Body Image Distress. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Sean McNiff, who served as chair, and Drs. Michaela Kirby and Natalie R. Carlton, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations, Leanne on earning your doctoral degree. I now present Brittany A. Torelli, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Psychology. Brittany's dissertation title is Grandparent, Caregiver, Wellbeing and Identity Development. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Peiwei Li, who served as chair, and Drs. Rakshanda Salim and Laura Maggio, who served on the dissertation committee. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree. <laughs> 